this is an excellent view of the volcano eruption oh that's the Iceland volcano eruption you can see that we are just looking directly into the old channel uh, where the lava was flowing what you see here is a like a waterfall but this uh, volcano the lava is very uh, the magma is very water rich so when it comes it really uh, bubbles up uh, it's very runny because of the water content as you can see the vapor is rising from it as water um, and um, as we know now it's going to oh it broke the wall is uh, over spilled now it's going to erupt in a big uh, big explosion um, as usual what it does is like this you can see that uh, the bubbles making it to boil the water vapor expanding water vapor ah it's, it's overwhelming the walls Um, volcano is a kind of pulsation uh, every 7 to 12 minutes uh, it has a new fresh lava as the pressure decreases the, la the magma melts the magma is not molten you know it's hot it's under pressure when it comes from the mantle but when the pressure is removed uh, on the top it immediately melts and that's what you will see here Now, as the height of the volcano is increasing, the lava has to come up mm, higher. The magma has to come, come up higher. It needs more pressure behind it. And uh, it will get a little difficult more. But that means also the power needed will be higher to push the volcano, uh, the magma up. It's like a syringe, you have to apply pressure from underneath the source of it is in the mantle so <laughs> the pressure comes from there and that area is expanding this is a mid-atlantic ridge practically exposed at the surface and when it when it expands there's left and right getting separate from each other it removes the pressure and the pressure removed melts the the magma and magma is not molten magma when it melts becomes lava and then uh, it, it will just erupt. The pressure is removed, and when the pressure is removed, it's like a pressure cooker, it erupts. Beautiful.